Um, one of my fuck buddies, within the first week of hooking up, he, he's like already over three times that first week. And he's like, hey, can I bring a guy over next time? You know, to share with me, you, you know? Like, okay, I've done two on one before, I don't mind. I'm a great person at a spit roast. You know what a spit roast is? No. Oh, okay. A spit roast is in even cheap circles. Imagine like a barbecue, you know, where the pig is on this open spit rotating and shit. But, you know, get rid of the flame and, you know, get rid of anything rotating and insert me through the pig and insert, instead of the two big metal rod that goes through, just one big dick shoved up its butt, my butt, another big dick down my throat. And I'll be servicing both dicks at the same time with their own dedicated hole. Um, I don't know how freaky you want it to get, but I mean, I've got an amazing snack back for a booty that has taken massive sizes. Like, oh my God, <laughs> that's some good stuff, sorry. Um, but yeah, I um, Oh girl, you yeah, tell I'm, me about it. I'm good at the damn, uh, spit roast. And I would just love to please the guys that Dante would bring over because mm -hmm. What do you know about Dante, sister? Oh, you know, the man, supposedly. I'm not gonna tell you that one comes to me because that's damaging bad. But it would be that Dante would bring over a different guy every single time he came by for a three month period. Three or four nights a week. So when you add that up, I mean, that's like 40 guys, you know, that are, you know, um, new dicks in me. <laughs> um, oh, nothing like a and, new dick smell. Mm. As a result, oh, yeah, that's why I never had double penetration. I'm not going to get fucking double fucked in the ass by two different dicks. Now, I can do one inch ramp my own pull. I can do double pull. Because, as you might see, I got no teeth. Long Ooh, looks like, looks like we're related. Yeah. Mm. Oral game went from a 10 out of 10 when I had teeth, I'm supposed to I was toned, to just, I mean, amazing, insanely good. But I mean, when you have hundreds of dick, you learn tricks and techniques and things you pick up. And that's the nice thing is that whenever I have sex nowadays, that first time with someone, they are blown away. I like that feeling. Ooh, you talking all-star numbers, girl. Mm. Ain't no One six man been... around here. Yeah. Start line up. Jordan in the mm. Jordan in the spirit rooms. Mm. Oh. I like that. And I don't mind. Um, hence the reason why a predominant number of hookups have been with men of color. Um, I like this week. Mm, now you talking, yeah, girl. Okay. We don't want none of them yeah. little dick honky motherfuckers. Yeah. You give me that alpha dominant dog in the bedroom and I'll spit roast it. Yeah. If we can... Mm. I just try and find a way now to incorporate all my fun like the guy in New York City. Like, he's interested in making videos with me. I don't want to do that. New York videos. City! I have a couple of those right now. <laughs> those are just um, me providing oh, God. worship, as I call it. Oh, yeah! You know, going down that line. Fuck bud with 10 inches all the way down. And then another guy that I haven't seen. But it seems like always when I try to get the filming of more kinky stuff, things fall apart. I was hoping secretly that you could help with that. <laughs> but, um, I just want to take the time yeah, to... Enjoy the night again. This, this video is sponsored by Oshkosh Bigosh. Do you like overalls? Um, Do you like the 90s? Um, Do you like spit roasts? Oshkosh Bigosh. 
Do you like do you like having one thing hanging off your shoulder? The other thing last Oshkosh be gosh. Do you like easy access to spit roast? Unhooking. Oshkosh be gosh. Do you like big dicks? Do you like being able to drop drop your Osh? Do you like being able to drop something that looks like you're a train conductor? Oshkosh be gosh. And that following night, I had a motel room with me for that second night at a different motel. And he brought a friend of his over, uh, Mr. Tyreek. And uh, mm -hmm. Tyreek was very fun, very mega hung, 11 inches. Mm, and now we talking. We ain't talking no real meat. We talking that. We talking that. That Where's one liter like hit me with a one liter, Drink. basically I'm the size of a 22 soul. ounce King Cobra. Mm. And uh, not to toot my own horn, but I mean, oh, damn good. And I mean, I already know this because when I can hear the guy's reaction and feel the rage and his appreciation and just, and, and the hookups become sweet, but fuck, buddy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carl. So, I mean, mm. just, you got a great ass. Yeah, this is damn good. Mm. Oh, yeah, I, really love like, you, I love the way you. I love the way you. I was giving rumors of him being mega hung off the. Um, I love the way your forehead <laughs> just. My dice hit your forehead. Um, something I'm serious. Mm. Oh, Carl. Oh, I Dude. love the way you. I love the way I. I love the way when I when I clamp down on your head, your gums mash my 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 flaccid my flaccid black cock in your gums. My black brother, and yeah, that missile went through slowly all the way through, and then. Come, come, come. And he went like a jackhammer. And for a good two minutes, and that's the way he likes to stroke him. But I mean, I had my butt beat up by him as I was getting head to two weeks, 11 inches, with my brother always 12, that's 23 inches total number of dick in me. And so that's why I call that night. Mm. You're talking about so much dick, you get ride a roller coaster. Carl, big dicks. Have you had enough dicks in you? At one time, that when you measure it, you can get on the Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm. Big dick. Have you had enough dick stacked together in your ass mouth, each hand, that measures equally 48 inches, therefore allowing you to sit in the emergency row on any Southwest airline plane of your choosing. Big dick. This episode of Fire Crotch on Patreon, sponsored by Big Black Dicks. Have you had one? Big Black Dicks. What else is someone supposed to do? I don't mind like the uh, <laughs> freak under the table. <laughs> so where, where do you think this behavior came from? Do you think it was something in your childhood or do you think it's just your DNA? Is <sighs> I you wired this way? Well, I, like I said, I suspected I was getting things. I was, I was an oddball in my family in the fact that I, mean, I was super intelligent, um, gifted, you know, as they say. And so, I mean, they, my parents and family tried to do their best, you know, just giving me chemistry sets, you know, at 10 years old or something like that. I just, just chemistry set? I could not. Chemistry figure set? Out what would make me happy. I got a I chemistry set, and inside. then you'd be surprised how much beaker I, I could put up there. Sort started putting water. these little beakers in my what, button but noodle. I was a lost soul, despite having good grades and having a family that had stability. I just, something didn't feel right, and the answer was, I was gay. And we were navigating this in the late 80s, early 90s, where you didn't have Ellen, and there was no 
Shout out, Alan. Dear person of. Shout out to everybody watching on the Patreon. Richard Simmons, who was out. Saluties. We'll see you we'll later. Original Wig is on uh, tonight. Which Original Wiggas podcast. This episode is sponsored by Original Wiggas. Do you like to laugh? Do you like white guys that kind of kind of black? Maybe an inner black. Maybe an inner black white. Maybe maybe they listen to the maybe they're the only white guy in the black crowd, and sometimes they had to fight six or seven other honkies at once because they got called Wigga. Original Wiggas podcast. Do you like to do you like to do you like to watch yeah, topics about this, um, trending <coughs> stuff and weird other weird such IEs and whatnots? Original Wiggas. We'll, we'll see you then, folks. Salute.